We're here on a very important day. Tell us all about it. Yeah, first of all, happy International Day of the Girl. It's the first one ever. I think, you know, for being a girl that grew up in Ireland, we're very privileged. We don't realise, you know, we moan, we, you know, we say being a girl is horrible, especially those teenage years. But really, we are lucky. You know, I wanted an education, I wanted to study, I wanted a degree in journalism, and I went and I got it. And I grew up in a single parent um, household with my mom, who worked and looked after me. And there's nothing really a, a woman couldn't do. So it's hard to believe in 2012 that one in three girls are denied education education just because they are a girl so I think we who have voices need to use that and hopefully today will obviously spread more light on the situation for everybody in the developing countries I suppose but we have to talk about the career you are going from strength to strength you're flying the flag for us over in the UK how is it going for you are you enjoying it I'm doing I'm a celebrity get me out of here now so I'm looking forward to that particularly because the weather is so miserable in London as well would you do it as a contestant like obviously you want to present you yeah. you don't want to be a reality TV star as such but would you ever consider something like that because I, I sure as hell wouldn't do it not for any money in the world honestly not a chance in hell not for any money in the world I see what they have to do um, Joe Swash did it and won and he says it's the best thing he ever did and he loved it but like I'm a girl who when they go to a festival I don't like to camp I'm not going to camp in the jungle where there's snakes and there's cockroaches you know I, I did camping on like a 16, 17 auction festival all like that that was as that's as much muddy as I get that's it <laughs> At least you're honest about it yeah. though. We appreciate that. You're high maintenance and you're I'm telling us. And I know it. <laughs> now I have to do the presenter thing, which is always really awkward, especially. I know where this is going. You know exactly where this is going. So instead of just talking about you and Danny in general, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just talk about the fact that you have a relationship that is in the public eye. Yeah. You know, it's not too bad. I think it was hard when we first start going out because when you first start going out with anyone, it's a bit like you don't want everyone to know yet. So when you start getting asked those questions, but I think once you know we're going out a while and we're happy to say, yes, we're going out, it, it wasn't as bad. It's before when people knew, didn't know or did know, and then I'm like, I don't want to say it. You might think I'm going around telling people. But now it's fine, it's fine.